Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of oh, Darkness Falls on that. Alpha 20, modded yeah. 7 Days to Die. This is one of my favorite modded series to do, and we are in Alpha 20 with it, so I'm pretty excited. It's gone stable here, so expect a full series on this, guys. And by the way, thanks for the participation in the last video. Uh, it went off really really well so i just grabbed another quick quest here from the trader we are getting really full on materials here so what i'm thinking about doing is making a storage container outside of the trader and kind of making it uh, a dump station in between other stuff here uh, but i also need to keep bowls going in between making other things too there we go. Organized a little better. Now I am hungry here, so we're going to be having to deal with that pretty damn soon. Hopefully we'll be able to buy something nice and nutritious from the trader and just get our hunger up right away. Something with uh, some wellness to it as well so we can get our health and we can get our stamina up. Now, there is an incentive to not die in Darkness Falls because you need to get your health and your... Um, stamina up by increasing your wellness through eating good foods and drinking good drinks and you can't like just eat a whole bunch in a row to get it up quickly you have to wait out the timers so it takes quite a while to get that up high and when you do die i forget what the exact consequence is but i do know uh or the number of it but i, I do know that it is quite punishing uh in going backwards in the wellness so yeah don't want to do that <laughs> Oh my god, so I clear out a few zombies over here. I'm like, oh, we're cool. Look over this way, and there's just a ton of zombies wandering around. There we go, getting those skills up as well. So this uh, does go by the old skill sets in uh, way previous alpha days, where by using things and doing things, you actually uh, increase your skills in them. So if you make things, you get skills. As you can see, because I'm using my bat, I'm increasing my skill in it, right? Makes uh, makes sense. So it's interesting. Now, I do have four skill points to spend. We're going to take a look at this. So, And I, I think that's best done on a night cycle, which, you know what? It's going to be coming pretty quickly. This place does not look like it's going to take long to clear. So let's, uh, let's take a little bit of a stroll through here. And, oh, look, it's a business lady. And uh, see what is going on. Okay, there's one right there. He is down. Uh, let's try out our iron crossbow here. Get this thing nice and loaded up. Here we go. Jump on the car. That is a bad defense. If the zombie hits it and explodes it, it's never a fun time. Ooh, highly effective. I like that. Reload time, not too bad compared to the bow. Okay, I can deal with this. This is fun. Sweet. Boom. There we go. Anyway, oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, and she's still standing. Holy crap, that is one tough business lady while you have to be in the business world. That guy wasn't tough at all. Let's walk our way through to the back here. Oh, there is a dog house. Does that mean we're going to be getting a dog here? Oh, no. I put my bullets away. When I actually had a gun for it. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe I uh, shouldn't do that. Okay. We have a guy busting in here. We just have a little more clearing to do. Is there a dog up in here? Uh, probably. Well, let's see what happens. Whoa. Jeez. Stupid punk. Got the sneak on me. There we go. Good thing you guys don't bite. It would be over for me. Holy crap. Look at these guys down here. Oh, I think this is where the iron crossbow is going to uh, gonna come in handy. Holy crap. This guy over here wrecking the place. Oh, I think I got her. I think I got her. Oh, no. Now we're going to have, like, zombies down there that aren't actually involved in this. Oh, no. I'm being cornered over here. <laughs> hey. You are more acrobatic than I am, zombie. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Cowboy. Yeah, 
Oh, this is a, 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 a zombie stripper here, but it is a male version. Uh, someone brought that up in a previous video. You gotta have uh, you gotta have the equality, guys. Why not, right? I mean, male ones exist. Why wouldn't there be male ones? I get it. Okay, so we still have these two to deal with down here. I don't think I took that uh, one lady out. No, she took a headshot, but wasn't enough. There you go. Okay, I got him. One more for Missy over here. There we go, right in the right in the head. There we go, and that's our ladder to get up and down. I definitely want to go and check out that zombie loot. There we go. Oh, look at this. We we ended up with a scrap machete. <laughs> anyway, so that would be, I think, a great tool to use when it comes to uh, stripping down zombies. Okay, uh, we do have a passing gas box and a, a wood crate over here. Definitely worth the time cracking open, I think. We'll just watch out for these guys here. Oh, ammo pile. Almost missed all this stuff here sitting at the back. Oh, don't be damaging the workbench. You guys. Ooh, bicycle handlebars. That saves, whoa, a lot of effort. That was uh, rather close, if I do say so myself. Oh, always double tap. All right, let's go get this quest handed in here. Whoa, get out of my way. Okay, dumping some stuff off here, and I think... Wait, what time is it here? Ooh, it's getting pretty close to nighttime. Let's go and see what we got as a reward for this quest, and we'll grab ourselves another one. Uh, so the door problem I was having last episode, guys, just to address that now, uh, is ambient occlusion. I actually had to uh, turn that off in order to get that going. Uh, there's a problem with Seven Days of Die. The more assets it has, apparently... Uh, the more common that problem becomes of that door popping up. So uh, that's a thing. Okay, so it's going to offer us a baseball bat, which we already have a better level one. A scrap machete, I don't want that. First aid bandages are pretty damn handy. Uh, the magnum rounds, I don't think we need. So we're, we're going to go ahead with the, the first aid bandage here. Very, very nice. So let's check out what Jen has for other jobs here. She has uh, buried supplies that is closer. Okay, let's take this fetch here. Can you help me? Uh, it is. Oh, thank goodness! I couldn't find anyone to do that. Okay, it's above our house, so uh, that's not too bad. Let's uh, let's get our butts home here, guys. I'm going to fill myself up and uh, see how long it takes to get back there. <laughs> uh, this is a good time too to use a coffee. That way I can run a little more. That'll help. I don't think I have any steroids, so... Yeah, no such luck there. Also thinking that making a storage chest here and putting it in our super extended tool belt so we can throw it down just in case we come across a wandering horde or something crazy, drop our inventory into it and not have the... Uh, the negative of carrying 25 over when I'm supposed to be. Here we are at our temporary home. We're going to have to look into some place too for our first horde night and just try to basically survive that. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done a Darkness Falls horde night and I'm not sure what to entirely uh, expect here in Alpha 20. So this is my trader chest right here and this is my regular storage. So I'm going to just stack everything I have and I don't really think I have anything for the trader. Maybe a machete? How much does that even sell for? 19! We're going to be rich. Oh, we needed a second chest. I just have that much stuff. I'm going to drop this all off here and sort it out later as long as I have enough to protect myself. Wow, we do have 1,210 trader coins so far. We're doing pretty good on that front. So it looks like we still have a little time here before nighttime. I think it's most prudent to kind of break in, or to kind of, we're going to do this for sure. We're going to break into places here and loot the kitchens because I need stuff for my fire pit. We don't have a 
grill and we don't have a cooking pot. So screw the rules, guys. I know this triggers some people, but I'm going in through the front door. Very slowly. Eventually. I'll get there, I promise. The nice thing about Darkness Falls and uh, the thing I keep forgetting is you only have to break down doors one level to get them open. So it's actually easier to get through doors. I, I really enjoy that feature. Okay, so looks like we have a burned out area over here. This is uh, some... Whoa! Ooh, suicide there. Bam. Here we go. It looks like there's a burnt guy over in the kitchen. No big deal. We can take care of him. Oh, there's two burnt guys. Where are they going to go? They're going to go for a walk around. That guy's going to hit on the door over there. And this guy here is going to be in the bathroom. Both of these rooms are actually extremely useful. So uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of the pokes. Whoop, there we go. Can't catch me. Yeah, look at them walking around. That's hilarious. Okay, here we go. Hmm, not sure if I'm a big fan of using the spear, especially at close range. This bat is, like, super OP. Ding! Oh, maybe it isn't. These burn victims actually seem pretty damn tough. Okay, so we have a food pile here. What do we have in this sink? We have some coffee beans, damn it. We have... Oh, a crowbar. This is something I didn't get last time around. You can open safes and stuff now really quick with it. So that is a sick tool to have. Uh, I never got to use it because I uh, started playing Darkness Fall. It falls really early and they added that late. Oh, damn. Um, frame? Oh, no. Okay, how do we get out of this place here? It's nighttime. It's almost nighttime, and I really don't want to be here too long. There we go. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so this is a, a decent place to come back to. There's some good loot over there. I was hoping I can get in there, but looks like I'll have to go this way. The easy way, right? Here we go. Old sink, please provide me. Nice. Nice. We got what we came for, guys. Let's get the hack out of here. Holy crap, this guy followed me all the way over here. Oops. Okay. I'm trying to out-jump him, but it doesn't appear that that is going to happen. We got uh, a weak stamina game going on because we are hungry, so... You know what? <laughs> let's 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 aim my spear at you men menacingly. Ugh. Anyway... Bye. Holy crap, still alive? Damn, these guys. Oh, there's another one. Oh, damn, how many of you are there? Okay, he's down. I need to get the heck out of here, guys. This is going to get bad real fast if I don't. Um, oh, here we go. Aha, frame shapes, you saved the day. Uh, now I need to get some wood and get back on top of my place here before that sun goes down. Oh, it looks like I was panicking too much. But at least we got out of there in time. <laughs> oh, that could have ended so badly. And home safe with some time to spare. Okay, we're doing good here, guys. Uh, I'm also going to fill in these holes over here too so I don't accidentally fall into them. Uh, this one right here... It's like it has just a bar sitting there. Oh no, guys, I'm starving here. So let's get my fire going. Uh, we're going to look here for some eggs and some meat stuff. Is that all we have for meat? Ooh, damn, we need uh, we need to get ourselves as much meat as possible. We need some... Oh, it's a cooking pot for bacon and eggs. That kind of makes sense. You can't make eggs on a open grill like that. But at least we can make ourselves one grilled meat. Ooh, that is so bad. Oh, we're like super hungry. We're starving. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. I'm about to die. Oh, no. I starved to death. So that's a thing. And that's quick, too. I was not paying attention. I was just trying to get my fire together. Well, first embarrassing death of Darkness Falls. Starving to death. Something I've never done in seven days to die. Sick. 
<sighs> well, at least we're not hungry anymore. That kind of does suck, though. But, hey, learning lesson, right? You starve to death really quickly. So we can make ourselves uh, some pasta stuffs here. Let's take a look at this. Recipes, cooked pastas. We can make one of those. Uh, oh, if we had a cooking pot. Damn it, guys. The cooking pot is foiling all of our plans. And look at this. We had six potatoes, too. There is no reason for us to be starving when you have six potatoes. Right? Potatoes are life here in Darkness Falls. Oh, it's finally morning time, guys. So what I'm going to do here is pop myself a red tea. Uh, we're going to use that. What it does, it gives, it gives us efficient digestion by 15%. So you get a little more out of your food. And that is good because we don't have very much food. And it also adds one point to my wellness and my stamina. I just have to wait for my uh, health to catch up here. And I'm going to use the uh, meat to get my food up. There we go, looking pretty good at 77, and I think a potato uh, should do it. There we go, 85, that should get us through, and we have five more potatoes left, uh, plus another red tea. So let's try to stay alive and not starve to death here today. So all I did on the overnight was just kind of sit here and look at stuff. Uh, I did look a little bit at my skills tree, so I want to know what we want to spend on. And there's some obvious stuff here I want to spend on right away. Um, our athletic stuff so that we're uh, tougher and we can go further and faster. Health nut, increase wellness by 10. Increases your minimum wellness to 60. Increases maximum wellness by 20. So when if I keep dying, my minimum wellness, I'm going to start off at 60 instead of 50, right? Because if I keep dying, that's what you eventually drop down to you won't drop lower than that but uh what i want to do is increase the uh the maximum wellness too and increase my wellness period there we go look at that 109 that's a nice little boost uh we'll throw a second one into that 119 that is a huge help right there uh we're also going to throw a point into couch potato to get some of our stamina going on and i do want to start investing a little bit uh in the parkour here so there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and pound out that quest over there. I gotta go this way. And here we are, folks. So we're gonna go ahead to start that tier one fetch. And it looks like it's below. We're totally gonna cheese this. It actually looks like. It may be in a lower portion of this building. And I don't really remember this POI, if I'm going to be open and honest. So I'm going to take a little bit of a look around and see if there's any way to get to the basement around the outside. Doesn't appear to be. But there may be through the garage here. So I'm in the garage and I don't see anything in here. So uh, it would appear like the entrance is only from the inside. So let's smash our way in. I'd like, look at all the time I spent kind of wandering around and looking at the place. I probably could have gotten in and out by now, but hey, luck of the draw, right? Sometimes I just have to bust a hole in the wall. Sometimes I have to run around the entire place. Okay, I think that is hopefully all of the damn locals. There are so many of them. Ah, here we go. Got a cowboy hiding behind. Oh, nice stairs. And we got a kitchen right here, too. This is uh, both very useful things. Let's take a search. Nothing in the sink. And I don't see any pots sitting around. Sometimes you'll find a pot just sitting around in the open. And uh, that is extremely useful. Okay, so let's go downstairs here right away. This is most likely where uh, the few good loot boxes in a tier one is going to be anyway. Oh, look at that. We already got a key card blue. So this is for the more of the end game stuff when you need to go to the labs and uh, work your way through them and try to get to the end. It's, uh, it's a ton of fun. This game, uh, what this mod does is it add, adds a lot to the end game. Thank you, lady. 
Here we go. Bunch of clothes and whatnot. Not really too important stuff, but we'll grab it up. I think I'm running around pretty much still naked right now, so I should perhaps take a look at those clothes. And it looks like, oh, nice. Our courier satchel is in the loot room. How handy is that? Let's grab up all this stuff in here. We've got ourselves a couple more bite pistols, uh, some ammo for his day bandage, very useful things. A couple of arrows and we got some food boxes. Maybe this will give me something nice. Maybe something nutritious. We're going to need that because huh? starving to death. Here we go. And we'll get this uh, we'll get this shotgun messiah open. So we also had a working stiffs box up here I almost missed. Oh, look at that. We got a scrap iron fire axe and eight forged steel. That's uh, quite the find early on. Got some stuff we can sell to the trader. I don't really keep the gun parts, to be honest. Ooh, look at this. We got that old sham sandwich. I do believe if you take, um, uh, not vitamins. Damn, I can't remember the name of the medicine for some reason. And it's hurting my head. If you guys know, drop it down in the comments. Anyway, you can take that and eat the old bread and not get sick from it. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing in Darkness Falls, but I'll try to remember to check that out. Oh, look at this. I'd even loot a coffee maker. Ooh, shame on me. Looks like there's another sink in that bathroom, too. Oh, we got a blueberry seed recipe. Extremely useful. There we go. And looks like those guys here will be breaking in very shortly. Which is okay. Makes it easier for me to get out, right? Okay, here we go. Cupboards. Got some more canned foods. Guys, I need a damn... Pot. I need a damn pot. Okay, so let's go in here. Uh, just some cupboards. We also... Ooh. That's a nice little area up in here. It's a bunch of cupboards in here. Nice. A whole bunch of canned goods. We got some waters. We got two waters. That's nice. Uh, now, someone said to search fire hydrants or something like that to find water. Uh, we'll have to uh, definitely investigate that. Uh, there we go. Oh, look at this. I can attack you from inside the block of the house. Uh, there we go. I'm not going to use that at all, though, as a cheat, I don't think. Because that's not uh, really intended, I do believe. I think that's the reason why you can't crouch through one blocks in vanilla. It's just they don't really have an animation uh, or a way to do that properly. There we go. What is up, good sir? You have a baseball cap for us. Jeez, we attracted so much attention there in that house. Okay, which direction do we need to go? Off in this direction. Let's head off, guys. I'm going to do myself a favor and uh, drink some coffee and run as much as I can. There we go. I dropped off all of my extra stuff here so we can go off to the trader real quick. Oh, yeah, we also have uh, stuff we can buy out of the vending machine, which is nothing good at the moment. Okay, Trader Jen, I have finished your easy mission yeah, here. Okay. I have retrieved I it. it and what do we have here? We have, ooh, a regular pistol. Um, yes, please. Thank you very much. That makes doing these jobs 100% worth it here. So the closest one we have is a tier one fetch 250 Thanks, meters huh? away. Nice, nice. Uh, what I'm trying to do is is uh, rush the quest here so we can get a bike on the way as soon as possible. Being mobile is a really big deal. So it looks like our, oh, we already searched that guy. House here is one of the burned out ones. So these ones are actually rather, oh, wait, is this the one right beside our house? Oh, it is cool. We already went through this place and so now we get to give it a, another go here. So uh, let's do it the cheese way, of course. And it looks like, oh, never mind. The front door is open for us. And... The satchel is right there. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go talk to the trader. Hi, Dr. Jen. What is up? So we got some plaster casts, which is probably a really good idea. Some generic schematics. These are really valuable, but I don't need them right now. Uh, some iron arrows. Eh. 
leather boots and scrap machete. So we're definitely going to go with the plaster cast here because I like to fall off things. So uh, pretty damn awesome. So it looks like we got our reputation up here. So let's click. Let's take a look at this. Uh, she goes, I know a few things. Can you teach me new recipes? Uh, so she'll teach me uh, recipes like aloe cream or first aid bandage for uh, an amount of dukes, which she have. Whoops, that is recipes. Do you have any other work? Open trade routes, tier one. Oh, guys. Maybe we don't get a bicycle as a reward here for completing it. Why was I assuming that? That's a vanilla thing. This is Darkness Falls. See me with my vanilla brain going on? Damn it. So taking a look at her inventory here, let's see what she has for food stuff. She has a whole bunch of canned foods. Uh, she has a, does have a large um, beef ration. We're gonna go ahead and buy those. These ones here, like the MRE stuff, uh, emergencies and rations, uh, they don't have a food poisoning percentage on them. They last much longer. Uh, so they are safe to eat. But if you like grab this cans of peas here, uh, actually a can of peas only has a 10% chance of food poisoning. That's not too bad, but about a can of pasta, 20%. Apparently peas last longer than pasta does. Uh, peas before pasta. Has a bunch of mortar and pestles on sale. Uh, I can make those, I think, pretty easily. There we go, we got some chicken rations, we'll buy those. And it looks like that's all pretty much of the Thanks food that she's going to be offering us. Uh, so let's take a look here. She sent us off. Whoa. I didn't even check to see uh, what direction that was. 2.2 kilometers away. Oof. Okay. Uh, so we are north. There we go. Right down this way. That is a journey and a half, and I don't think I can do that here uh, on foot. So it's going to be interesting here to see how we're going to be getting around. Oh, wait. Is the guppy mobile still a thing? Placeable flag? Oh, no. No, there's no guppy mobile? Guys, I'm gutted. Is there something in its place? Oof. Transportation playing single player on Darkness Falls is uh, is really going to suck because we didn't spec in that. So well, to get a vehicle, what you have to do to be able to make one is actually class yourself in mechanics. So I do believe actually we can make a class paper. Here we go. Blank class paper. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Blank class papers. To make these, we're going to need 240 bundles of skill notes. So if you guys get recipes and, and stuff that you actually have, uh, don't don't sell them to the Trader. I got to remember to do that too. Scrap them and you get skill notes out of them. Paper, ink. So black dye, guys, very valuable in Darkness Falls and a quill. Uh, so we can unlock mechanic. Okay, so we're going to have to, I think, uh, try to figure that one out as soon as possible because yeah there's there's no way we're going to be going uh, all the way to that trader right now i think that's uh, a far journey i mean we can nomad it i've never nomaded um darkness falls but i don't know if i'm up for that challenge quite yet okay so we got another uh tier one clear zombies 175 meters away it's in a bar let's go ahead and check that out uh a bar is actually i think a really good place to find, oh, that's not what I wanted highlighted, uh, to find a pot. I think we'll find that there very easily. Uh, here we are at Buzzards, or Buzzards Bar. Wow, Buzzards Bar. And that vehicle is going off. It doesn't really seem those uh, work like they used to in calling zombies from uh, other places. Uh, chicken soup stock is actually pretty good for recipes here. You can make a uh, quick chicken soup too. Uh, oh wait, the country stock, I'm sorry. Let's go to recipes and you can make cooked sham soup out of all of that sham can or the canned sham stuff you're gonna get. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start that up. And oh, look at this. We get to loot the muscle car again. Check this out here. Uh, we got ourselves a scrap iron shovel. Nice, that's better than our uh, our stone shovel, 100%. There we go, big upgrade there. And we did get a uh, stone axe. I don't know why I didn't actually equip that. Oh, look at this, look at that luck, another jar of honey. Damn, if this was only uh, vanilla uh, back when I was playing it, 
when Alpha 20 Experimental first came out. There we go, front door unlocked, and it looks like we have a few patrons, but this place wasn't too crazy busy. Ah, oh, lady, you have some red on you. There we go. Whoa. Oh, that got me. I was like, did they add a basement to this place? Is this POI is like a classic one. Uh, it'd be n uh, did they do any changes to it? Looks like slight changes, but they kept the atmosphere. Yeah, like they added pool tables and stuff in, but they the, the atmosphere feels exactly the same. It's kind of cool seeing that. Oh, nice. Look at that. Three bottles of pure mineral water. That'll help us out with our thirst problem. Uh, these coffee makers are key. Oh, damn. Can we even make coffee? What do we need to know to make it here? Let's take a look. Uh, sous chef and uh, coffee recipe. And uh, the seeds, of course, is living off the land. Okay, it doesn't look like there's really anything out here uh, left for us. Let's go ahead and blow through those curtains. Great security this place had. I mean, really, though, who's going to go and try to rob the kitchen? Unless you're super hungry, I, I really don't uh, really don't see that being a thing. Ah, uh, uh, nothing? Not even a pot laying out. Not even in a little mini restaurant back here. Ooh, got some meat though. We can make some bacon and eggs. Those those are life, guys. By the way, I did add the bacon and eggs uh, emotes to. Uh, did we uh, did we clear that out? No, it looks like we need to go into the back here, or maybe possibly the washroom. Uh, but I did add the emotes to the memberships. What I'm also going to do, because now we're doing Darkness Falls here in Alpha 20, is make a Steve and other Steve emotes. I think those would be fun. I, I'm going to try to tackle those uh, this evening. I'll let you guys know when they're done, though. And once again, guys, a, a big shout out to all my uh, members that support me. Uh, you know, these months are the, the hardest for us as far as it comes with uh, ad revenue, so uh, it's really when it counts. So once again, guys, thank you. And for everyone else that watches videos and stuff, you guys are very much appreciated. Seriously, without you, there would really be no point in uploading videos anyway. So uh, thanks for making my days when I see you guys' comments and stuff. It just, um, you know, it makes it all worth it, really. Okay, we're through this back door, and oh my god. There is a few of them back here. We got an infected doctor. There you go. You weren't uh, careful enough. Got a cowboy. Wow, it looks like we got some locals out here. That's what's going on. Uh, and it looks like the cowboy is the one we actually need to kill. Uh, no, we need to go upstairs. All right. Let's uh, get our way up there. Oh, right here. Nice and easy. Is there a bird up here? Is there a bird? I hate those damn things. They're usually on roofs too. Surely makes sense. There we go. Put her to rest. Got that stamina game going on. I'll play a little bit of uh, a little bit of dancing with this guy here. And you know what? This calls for a pistol here. This is definitely pistol time. We have a few coming in. we go. Execution style. Okay, we have some stamina back. These guys are easier, so... Take thems out. Holy crap, there's another one! Oh, I almost tried kicking them off the edge, guys. I'm, I've, like I said, I've been playing way too much Dying Light 2. I love that game. If you guys have been playing it, let me know down in the comments. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is actually streaming it on the weekend. I'm going to uh, release videos all week and then stream whatever the heck I'm playing other than Seven Days to Die on the weekends. I think that would be a great way to uh, get a crowd of people that are also more interested in watching other content. Because I love Seven Days to Die, but I would love you guys to experience other games with me as well. I think that is a blast. So what do we have here? We have the Power Doors and Bridges. Whoa, level 60 robotic sledge. That is a nice little find. I think we'll find use for that here in Darkness Falls 100%. Some medical supplies just kicking around down there with the uh, vitamins. Nice. And that's about it, though. Okay, so let's head on back to the trader and get some points for this 
Holy crap, the traitor is surrounded by zombies. I swear I heard a gunshot going off too. I wonder if they're inside uh, the traitor himself. Oh wow, look at that. They just busted through that wall of the traitor, which means they were definitely inside. Uh, let's hope that's not bad news for our traitor friend. And uh, we have to move on. We'll have no choice. I do think they actually respawn after a while. Oh wait, no, traitors, traitors pretty much don't die. They're invincible. I forgot about that. I wonder. Oh wait, traitors do not defend themselves either. That is all. Whoa. Uh, that is also a fact. You know what? Oh boy. Handgun time. Now if I just don't waste all the bullets. Okay, there we go. Holy crap! Though, talk about respawn. It is day three here. And we're already being surrounded by a bunch of zombies. Okay, whoa! Whoa! Oh, damn! She gave me a deep laceration just like that. Ouch! Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, well, that was not very nice, Decaying Mother. I'm really gonna have to watch my back here in Darkness Falls this time around. There we go, janitor down. We have this guy over here. Soften him up with a couple of bullets. Okay, holy crap, they just keep coming. We can do this, though. We can stay alive. This feels like Project Zomboid, to be honest. Uh, not as dire, like, you know, if you go outside and get discovered, you're not screwed forever. But just as fun, I will admit. Oh, I didn't get back over to you while you were still... Oh, well, that didn't matter. Got her anyway. Okay. Are we good? Looks like we're finally good. Wow. <laughs> I love this mod. There we go. Still using the front doors, although there's holes everywhere. You okay in here, Trader Jen? Yeah, don't spend yeah Trader Jen's life. cool. Oh, wait, Trader Jen only has 2,500 health. Maybe she can die. Oh, okay. Uh, bundle of skill notes. Uh, iron fire axe. Uh, bundle of skill notes. I know that's a little stupid, but hey, you know what? I'll take it. So she's going to keep giving us tier one stuff. We got uh, some buried supplies. You, some Thanks, son. you know what? We may as well take one and see what a buried supplies is like in Darkness Falls. I mean, that could have quite possibly changed as well, right? Okay, it looks like that's actually going to be a little bit of a distance. Let's, uh, let's lighten my load here and take off. Eh? Oh, look at that. Opened a pack and I found myself a flashlight, which is really good because we have no uh, source of light at night. Oh. Whoa, was that a survivor over there that the zombie just killed? Oh, it was. I have not seen a survivor yet in Darkness Falls. Maybe, maybe he made them really, really rare. I was starting to assume that they actually did not exist at all. Oh, nice. Look at this. We got some apple juice. That gives wellness. We got goldenrod tea, some Duke's Casino tokens, uh, shotgun shells, and a shotgun. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. What a good run today. Uh, it looks like there's a whole bunch of locals back there, too. Whatever. Let's start digging. I mean, this isn't the funnest part of the game, but we can do this. There we go. Uh, what is up, my zombie friend? All right, I'm going to start poking holes and stuff here, guys. Okay, so I completely forgot about this here. I was like, you know what? I'm going to build a uh, one tall tunnel and uh, duck into it. That way I only have to go one space. And uh, I forgot that it completely x-rays you through the landscape and you can see uh, where the container is. That's okay, though. What we're going to do is just dig our way over. I mean, it is what it is, right? A little bit of sacrifice here. Oh, look at this. More zombies coming in. Always with the zombies. What's with this game? 
Ah, looks like we got some more loot here. Ooh, cowboy hat with some black dye. Right there, guys. That is, that's money. Right there, we can uh, use one of those, I think, to make one of those black ink. So let's go ahead. We're going to modify this right away and take that black dye out. There we go. I don't care about the cowboy hat. If we go to recipes, yes, we can make ink with it. Oh, that is so sick. Okay, let's get on with this stupid quest already. Oh my god, guys, I don't even have to dig my way over to it. I could just look at it and grab the buried supplies. Oh, we actually got some killer stuff there. I didn't take a second to actually take a look at it, but uh, let's run away a little bit. We're going to have some zombies on our butt. There we go. That's not too many, but I just don't feel like dealing with them. It's not like there's a lack of zombie interaction, right? Okay, so let's take a look here. We got the orange tea schematics. Nice. Or for orange tea. And we got four painkillers and two herbal antibiotics. Just very useful things. So those quests, I think, uh, with being able to look through landscape like that, is very well worth it. Off to the trader we go. Here we are, and completely out of stamina. But that reminds me, we have some skill points to spend here, guys. So let's take a look at our action skills. We already uh, are maxed out health nut. Uh, to get it higher here, let's take a look. We got to get our athletics up to level 20. And uh, that's this right here. So uh, better stamina usage for jumping and better stamina regen while running. Doesn't really give you any details, I don't think, on how you get it. But it's by using the action when you're out running around and doing stuff. Uh, you learn that skill, right? Uh, so stuntman here will uh, reduce stamina cost of jumping by 20 and increase the safe fall distance. So we're not going to go any further into that for the moment. We're going to go right into some minor 69er. There we go. A couple of levels that'll help us get through things easier, help us collect things when we need them. Uh, we're not going heavy grind right now because I'm going to be using POIs. We got to retrofit a POI for Horde Night, guys. I have no idea what to expect. So this time around is going to be completely on the fly. Now, I do plan on building a uh, end game one. Oh, look at that. See that bug still there a little bit, but not as bad, oh, I guess. Um, an end game horde base but for the first little while we're going to be messing around um just from poi to poi kind of learning how the hordes work all right so bundle of skill notes three perfect let's go ahead and grab that as a reward we're going to need a lot of those and uh, we're getting a healthy amount of supplies so let's take a look at our in her inventory uh, her inventory does tell us the time so we know it's now uh, seven in the p.m Well, guys, the time has come. Look at this. I found a full other Steve. So we're going to go ahead and put other Steve in our tool belt here. And they're going to give us a hand watching over the base while we chill out here at our first temporary one. And it does. Uh, yeah, it's 7 p.m. So I'm going to head my butt home here, guys. I'm going to have to call this one an episode. There was actually an absolute blast. So once again, guys, I do thank you for all your interaction. Those people that watch right to the end of the video. You guys are amazing. And uh, those who uh, take a, a little bit of time out every now and then to watch that, I appreciate that as well. I do know having uh, bombarding ads at you all day long does get old. So I appreciate when you guys do make that extra effort. So as usual, guys, Remember, stay classy, always back up them game saves, and I'll see you in the next one. Do you want? <laughs>